everyone, it is your Black Knight. And I'm feeling a little bit evil today. Oh dear, look at this. Six, nine, ten. With customs. Okay, so here's some, some higher levels. So I can justify what I'm about to try. So I got these custom trucks, and I said I wasn't going to use them. Because it just wasn't fair to all the people who couldn't get the custom trucks. But I'm, I'm feeling a little evil today. Maybe the karma will bite me. I'll just get wrecked repeatedly. Maybe it isn't as good as the saber for the handling. Maybe the bowl is a little too tight a track for it. But I feel like taking out one of the customs. Are we going to do the chicken one? or the No, we're going to do the, 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 uh, the manly man off-roader uh, lugger light uh, truck there. Whatever it was called. Is it light or less? Just lugger. Lugger something or other. Yeah, logger light. Remote. I I want to drive this truck. I just want to see. And maybe let's let's call it science as opposed to evil, because sometimes science is evil. It's, it's, okay, so two guys and everybody else is 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 got a female character, which means we're probably all guys, but still. There was a, a feeling, I know this goes back years ago, that the female player model actually runs faster and can take more damage. I don't know if that's true or not. It could be just, you know, just a wives tale. Let's see what happens. I'm sure we got some stock sabers and we've got some hot trucks, so this is a GT1, GT2 kind of thing. I did not get a chance to throw out any invites. Next time around we're going to have to throw out some invites. I was too busy talking. Take the boost. I'm not taking the high boost necessarily because that tends to send you into the wall and up sideways and that's great if you can wall ride really well on this track. So far I haven't shown that ability. We are lapping people. That's a truck. Ooh, look at that! See, it starts to, to skip out. Uh, he went for the he went for the hit, and then spun himself. I did a thing called using brakes. People think it's counterproductive; it slows you down. So how can how can that be a good thing? It's a little. A little counterintuitive, but sometimes you can. Sometimes you have to go slow to go fast, right? It's Otherwise, you'll be turning left to turn right. This is really kind of. I'm not sure why. I have catch up on. Why am I dusting everything? The off-road tire is that big a boost to me? I don't know. Again, there's there were a couple experienced racers on here. I just slapped him twice. Seven laps. These guys are having a lot of trouble hanging on to the handling on the trucks. I'd say it's it's because they might be stuck, but you don't get a spoiler at them. I don't think you just get the handling that is the handling. Okay, so someone's got to slip on me going for a pass. Is it is this a pass for position though? You'd think. Someone get to slip on the last lap after I lead for the whole race? That, that could happen. 
Or is it a matter was that just someone I had just passed who was trying to unlap themselves? Wow! Um, okay, so that was absolutely as evil as I thought it would be. It destroyed everything with that truck. What happened? Maybe everybody else is just running stock, or no? That they're doing that. That's that has nothing to do with what kind of truck you're you're driving. Not that I haven't wrecked stuff. This person's given up now. All of the high-ranked players have uh, finished. Everybody else is just learning how to race and just bouncing off of stuff. Is that lag? Or are they really bouncing off of stuff like that? Wow. Just, just some wow. It can be hard to line up on that. I have hit that. I mean, I'm not going to try and be too disparaging here. Especially if someone's, you know, if you're giving room to somebody and you, you, you get off your line. Hey, clack. Did not get, someone got the brevi special. Very good. By two tenths or so. We need to buy ammo. We'll buy ammo, I guess. Nope, wrong button. Okay, what are we doing? People are saying the hell with this. Everybody's left. Let's just take the top left and hope that there's people there because everybody else has said. It went green to, to that one. How'd that guy beat me into the voting? It's. The voting this. By the way, guys, a little programming note. I am way behind on my editing. I have a whole bunch of videos that I've got slated to come out. You know, several build videos. I've got all of this. The last dose videos all have to be edited and put together. And so that's all coming. But it has been a very, very, very busy week. And I have not been able to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's invite players. My friends, all pr friends playing GTA 5, we're gonna get an invite. Come on, guys. Who wants to race? Custom vehicles restricted. How does this look? This looks like it might not be a, a bad thing to try with the truck. Not a bad invite had nothing to do but go to my who's on anyway. Who's invitable? Pankro looks like he's in regular GTA, might not he might be AFK. They're both invited. Vincent X92, he races constantly. But not this. This is not his genre to my knowledge. People are joining, people are leaving. Just to have raced it, let's take out the chicken truck. You know, the whole Hooper homage. Not Hooper. Um, what the hell is the, is the Burt Reynolds racing film? Stroker Ace, that's right. Took me a minute to come up with Stroker Ace. I just recall it's my, my least favorite of the Burt Reynolds in a Fast Car movies. I'm not sure as far as like the top the top ones are it might actually be Cannonball Run 2. Cannonball Run 2 might be my favorite, and not because it's like the best of the movies. But Charles Nelson Riley. I mean the man is just freaking hilarious. Freaking hilarious.
there was a, there was a lot of silliness. It, it, was, it was an absolutely silly movie, even more so than the original Cannonball, which was largely based on true events. The ambulance used in the movie was the same ambulance used in the Cannonball two years before, by Brock Yates and Hal Needham, and it caught fire in the in the real Cannonball. So it's they put it out. I mean, it's just fine, but. All right, so let's see how this goes. The lucky plucker. Our chickens are well and truly plucked. And then they put the thing there, so it's... To get the boost. Okay, so it's this track. I wasn't sure which one it was exactly. I'm getting the impression nobody behind me knew how to do the, the boost start. Now, will the downforce on this truck, on a high-speed track, let it handle better than a, than a Sabre will? I don't think I've ever taken a truck on this track. And if this goes like the last race did, then we're just gonna... We're just gonna re just not use these for the rest of the thing, because I don't want this to get boring. I mean, is this just because I did all that truck race? Ooh! It's too far ahead. Gotta take it out in the crisscross, but we survived. We, we, we pulled it together. Is this just because I'm practiced on these tracks? That, you know... And we always got that one guy who's just parked. I don't know what the point is. Oh, it's the new personal best for me. So, I mean, it shows you that the, on this track, the truck is king. Come on, lucky plucker. Using the banking just to hold my speed, not really to use it as a, a line I want to be on, but if it starts to feel like... It's weird how you can kind of feel that the truck's going to let go. The truck took that side hick really nice. It just moved to the side and kept going straight. So that is nice. I wasn't spun. Do we really need the booster at that point? At this point, it's just, come on. Come on, guys. Get, come on, put up a fight. Does nobody today run in customs and they get the, the host is leaving customs on? Maybe the next track, I'll just take a, uh, someone quit. 107, new personal fit. That's true, that start lap was faster than any of my laps on the, uh, the Sabre, although we don't really know that. Because sometimes that works and sometimes that don't. Like, sometimes that's just best today, you know? It's Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We don't know. I can tell you the truck feels good. Both of them did. People are just quitting. I'm going to be alone. You can't buy the truck anymore, so it's 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 not a matter of trying to get the. They're not going to be trying to get the uh, trade price because there's just no point. You can't get it anymore. One oh three. Wow. Can we say that the truck was completely pay to win? Because, you know, I, mean, I didn't pay any money for it, you know, specifically. I did just have money, but I mean, have in-game money. I didn't buy any in-game money to get this, but... Still experimenting with the best lines here. I think that guy might have stopped. 
Now, I'm not really try-harding at this point, so I don't know if I'll get the best lab on this time around. The 103 might be the best, because I'm not bothering very much to, to go after the boosts and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's kind of naturally in the line here. Yeah, this one was a slower lap. That 103 is probably going to be... Yeah, unless I really try to see how much I can try-hard this. Climb up a little bit, just to hold on in the line. I honestly don't know if that other guy's still moving. I mean, he must be moving or we'd pass him, right? We'd, we'd see him. Scrubbed off a little speed there with a little bit of a slide, but... The trucks are not supposed to be as planted as the, uh, the Sabre is. This is not the best racing I've seen out of the hot ring circuit. Now it is kind of early in the morning on a Friday. Not super early, it's not like 5 o'clock in the morning early. I mean, like 8 something or 9 something, I don't know. It's gotta be close, closer to 9. But 9 o'clock in the morning on a Friday, I grant you, is, you know, people are in school and things. It's my day off, so. What you got is people who were racing GTA who either A, work 410s, or are homesick, or kids who are homesick. Still wasn't the best, I really hard, tr did try hard on that, it still wasn't my best lap, it was close though. We're gonna be alone this time, aren't we? This is... Is this God's way of telling me I really should be either editing or... Oh, you know, working on my taxes, that would be a good thing to do. Tax season's around the corner here, folks. Oh, I say working on my taxes, I mean getting the stuff together to get to the account. Just, you, know. you say, why are you curb boosting so hard? It's like you're, you're driving like you're behind. It's not even like I want to try to get the best number. I'm just trying to get to the next race. Pulled a few 103s there. I'm sure the record's a 58. I feel like there's I feel like there's a 58 in the track somewhere. I feel like there's there's some speed left there. I'm not hearing turbo noises. That's probably stock saber. Which is, on this trap, against the stock saber, that's just cruelty. Chickens. Darkstar, we need the chicken outfit so we could drive the Lucky Plucker. Did not finish. Okay, Bolingbrook Bowl is probably the way to go. Let us hope for more people. If it's just the two of us, I'm going to take a stock. Maybe I'll be host. Now this turn off customs. Then I can continue the truck theme. 
I am joined. He's the host. You know what? He doesn't even know how to turn off customs. I need this. My friends. Friends playing GTA 5. Send them the invite again. And you know what? This this looks like it might be the, the last race here. We're going to take a non-custom... We'll kick it a non-custom truck. There it is. Yeah, we'll leave it crew. Should we sprunk it up? No, we're going to go petty. Let's give 2004 a chance here. And maybe maybe they'll have a custom, and then they'll, I'll be at a disadvantage. That's okay. I don't need to win every race. All right, so this is, should be either straight up fair or in uh, in her advantage. I feel like that go on go is just, you know. She hit. If you hit gas on go, you get a boost. All right, so we've given them a little bit of a tip. Why am I in first? Are you there typing? I want a race, come on. I've been working a little bit with Pancro Jones. He said some of this skipping might be me dropping packets. So all that lag might be me dropping some packets, but I don't know because it doesn't always happen. And it seems might, might be I'm only dropping packets. Oh dear. Come on, baby, race me. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Kick it down. Catch-up is on. I mean, really. Come on, sir. I want you to get a. I want you to get a win. Let's come on. That's it. Drip, slip me. Get in the slip. And then hit the thing. She hit the thing, didn't she? <sighs> I say she. We don't know that. This is the internet. People will use GTA to, you know, explore alternate parts of their personality, or, like I said, they just think they can run and drive and do everything faster because there's you know, a glitch with the player model. How many laps are left? Well, no, it comes through here. Was it four or seven or something? Seven or seven? Now, what's it see? Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, come on, sweetheart. I'm gonna I'm gonna give up a half track lead here in the hopes that you can do some. 
Let's do it. More than happy to give you the win, because I think you probably need to unlock some paint. <laughs> Can I hunt you down from dead stop within a lap? No, you got the win! Hooray for you! <laughs> I'm guessing that person has to unlock some paint. See, you can customize your cars a little bit more now. Maybe you'll unlock pink. Ooh, got a best lap! Well, I, was, I wasn't really pushing there, but you did. Very good. Now what are we doing? And Dave left. So... We got one more chance on the Bolenbrook Bowl here. Maybe we can pick up with some fresh peoples. You gotta be kidding me. All right, I think I think we're we're gonna destroy last place each lap. That's really what you want, level five. That really what you. What does it matter? How many laps you put? Sixteen laps, but we're gonna destroy last place each lap. This person's gonna try and and you know what. Dude, if you have any brains, turn that custom vehicles off. Because you set up destroy last place each lap, I'm going custom. And you're going to blow up. Idilix, you, you, you're better off not. Idilix might be able to beat me here if you're going custom. But I'm taking a custom here. Destroy last place each lap. Now, I understand... If you have like 20 people and you, you have issues with people jamming the, the thing again, which I thought they fixed that because you're supposed to ghost out if you're going the wrong way. So we're doing this. Okay, well then. Chicken truck it is. I think we'll take the chicken truck because this is goofy enough. This will be a two-lap race. I might be the one blowing up. Is there any chance this is a level 5 with a custom ever on? Nobody here has ever raced. How are you 173? Unless this is a second character. No, you still have to have leveled that up. What are you guys doing? I'm going to ruin these guys for racing. Oh, goodness. Two stock sabers against a custom truck. Well, blame the guy who put destroy last place. Oh, and you, you locked it to first person. I'm okay with that. This is just straight up trolling. Oh, I thought I was okay with that. I'm going to be the one who blew up because I hit that. Well, isn't that just karma? Can't. I think I might have enough time to get off the. Yeah, because I, I that goes. We'll have to make sure we don't try to go anywhere near the. Uh... Can I pass this guy in a lap? I think so. Well, at least it's a challenge, folks. Ooh, he took me out! Straight out takeout! Yeah, alright! So a takeout will get it. So who took me out? Was it the leader? Was it the guy who set it up? Yeah, he just crashed me out. Oh, he's just troll. Let's play with this. No! 
It wasn't the guy who set up the race. The guy who set up the race for that got blown up first. The silly... All right, downtown. Let's, let's try to do some kind of real race here. Yeah, straight up crashed me out. That makes sense. It's a dangerous play, though. If I could get turned around better, then he, then he's the one who blows up and I win. I mean, it's, it's you know, just a game of chicken at that point. Chicken, ha. Huh. So, okay. And I'm the host. Custom vehicles off. Yeah, let's leave it seven laps. I should turn off to catch up, but we're not going to do that. Confirm settings. Auto invite. My friends. Friends playing GTA. Let us try and build something real here. And if he quits, we're just going to... That's going to be the video. If the video's... Gonna, if the video is real short after this, then you know that that's what happened, and that, that he just quits out and wasn't willing to wait. I'm turning off customs for your benefit. He's like, <laughs> Do you want to extend time? That was better. Um, E. Because this is going to be a real boring race for seven laps with just two of us. He looks... Looks like all my friends are AFK or busy. Did nobody want a race today. We're not getting anything, are we? Sometimes right at the zero point you, point you get somebody. There we go. Sebo. So we got Sebo and Shakhan is uh, not here, so that's came in and left. Well, we're definitely taking the... Oh, this is this one you can't do the trucks. Let's sprunk extreme this. A little crew extreme. Just the two of us? The other guy quit. What happened to Sebo? All right, so this will be your last race here, folks, I think, because there's just not enough interest in doing this. Okay, so let's see if you know how to slip. Let's see if I can overcome the catch-up. With some uh, speed boosts of my own here. A little, little bit of pounding the suspension. Now, Intellix has taken me out before. We know he's capable. This time I don't have the benefit of a custom anything. I'm not in a hot truck. 
I mean, with the catch up, he should be catching me. He's catching me a little bit. Can he get within slip range? I think probably on this stretch he will. And he's not running in the slip. That's like literally just catch up. Thank you. You want me to go faster? That, that's good. Okay, how much do I bet he goes for the takeout on the outside? Now he's got slip. He's going to the inside. Like when I say take out on the outside, he's gonna ram me off to the to the right. Because I'm going to the outside for the curb boosts. And an openly risky maneuver. Dive to the inside. Boost it. Boost it. We'll drift it back up high again. Not sure how I'm holding off with this. Like, I realize I'm, I'm doing technique to try to neutralize the catch-up. I don't know how I'm going to do that for four more laps. He's close enough. He's either just not using the slip. I can't grab it. But, I mean, he should be driving faster than I am. I'm at, I'm at 60 frames per second, unless he's... It's an interesting thing. I, I heard Ruffy1322 talk about frame rates in a way that I've never heard anybody discuss before. He said that it's actually slower for your car between like, you know, 61 and I think up to 120 frames per second. And then after 120, that's when the car starts to get faster again. But like, so be, it's, it's, it's not just if you're running you know, 90 frames per second, your car is not necessarily faster, which I always thought it was. So he may have a slightly better setup. And running a smoother frames, but I might have a speed advantage because I'm, I'm locked at 60. So I never knew that. That's an interesting thing. And since 120 is not going to probably be a thing I see too much of, uh, you know, it's... Barbie1322, link in the description. Man is a wealth of racing knowledge in GTA. He, he does have a racing license, I believe. He's doing some more real-life racing now. I think he's going back to karting. Are we really pulling away that hard? Did he have a misstep? Well, this has been just mostly a commentary video, hasn't it? Not at all like the other... Boy, I tell you what, when you take away the the, the, the money, the double or triple or whatever money, and this and that, and boy, there's this and that, and So, I do have, like I said, a bunch of videos to edit and get uploaded and stuff like that, so... In the coming weeks, there will be content. I don't know if it'll be... Hopefully, it won't be necessarily content like this, where I'm just driving around in circles. Um, I guess some, some interesting things happened. I mean, I did get wrecked and exploded. You have to do that at least once, right?
How many left? Should be what? This should be it, right? No, five of seven. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. Three more laps. Come on, dude. Three more laps. There he is. It does show you how technique actually does matter. You know? It's, I grant you, it's not logical racing technique. It's GTA physics technique. Which you could call cheating, I guess, you know. Imagine if ketchup was off. Yeah, I got like nothing at this point. Probably hop off after this and try to find a stash house to raid so I can get the a mask or whatever they've, they've got out there. Got it on my other character, so. And then, pretty much, just go into an editing mode, I guess. Try to get some stuff out. It's going to be real busy for a little bit, so I might I might stagger these on the schedule and just try and just put out a video, whether it's a racing video or not, on Sundays. Make sure that you guys have something to watch from me if you want to watch something from me, you know. Nothing is, nothing is hyper pertinent at this point. And the last dose stuff is going to take a while, so I have a kind of like the, the first one... The first couple, those will be easy, but the third one, which is the Rusty Jack one, I, I don't even I don't know all the things I have planned for that. I, I'm playing a lot of editing, like a lot of a lot of a lot. I wonder what. Like I'm not getting my personal bests on this because I've got catch up on the whole time. And, you know, you get a much faster lap when you're slipping your way through the pack trying to get back into position, which is which happens a lot on this track. I think I'm doing enough curb boost to neutralize the, uh, the catch-up, and he's out of slip range, so he's kind of just out in no-man's land, and all he can do is drive around in circles. Last lap. And you're saying to yourself, well, why don't I just slow down, let him catch up, and then we'll have a better race? No, because he, he wrecked me and blew me up last race, and that's just fine. Here you go. You get a loss. I get a win. Have a nice day. And that's if you can if you can climb up on me with you've got catch up. If you can watch what I'm doing and learn from it, you can, you know, if, if you do the same things I'm doing with catch up turned on, you should be able to close on me. He's definitely not closing. We're definitely pulling, uh, pulling away. But this is just what racing experience gives you, you know? He's got a few races, like one or two or three races. I've got over, I don't know, close on 2,000 probably at this point. I believe I've done 2,000 races. That's really kind of mind-blowing. And this one will be another one in the W column. He shouldn't DNF. There he is. I put I put a good quarter track on him. You finished first.
clickety clack. I'm gonna give you the text. Okay, D. GG, gotta go. And really, the best lap was only a, a little bit faster than his best lap. But it was enough. I think I had probably consistent good lap, good laps, and he had one good lap or something like that. But I mean, he'll learn. He'll watch. He'll learn. You get experience. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.